Wild Generate the Kids with Cancer Fund is a 501c3 charity started by people that love Jenry when he was diagnosed with leukemia in 2009. And we provide handheld gaming systems, go bags, and um, financial assistance to the families at Children's Hospital whose children are being treated for cancer. Tell us a little bit about that moment where Jenry said, hey, I want to get everybody some handheld games. He did. He said, can you can you buy Nintendo DS systems for all the kids on the oncology floor that didn't have a gaming system. And we did say no, but it wasn't because we didn't want to help. It was because obviously we couldn't afford that. But slowly, but you know, slowly, week after week, people at church, friends, neighbors started to just show up with money for games for kids at the hospital. So we started to take one at a time. And um, by March of the year after he was diagnosed, we were giving a gaming system to every child that was newly diagnosed with cancer. That must be a really yeah. good feeling. <laughs> yeah, it was 10 months after he was diagnosed. That's quite a fast. Pretty powerful. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yes. you've taken it to many, many other levels. Emotional support, spiritual support, financial support. It grew into something It has grown. Us. Yeah, it has grown. Um, well, when Jenry was sick, it, uh, he was diagnosed at 1 in the morning, so we didn't have anything with us, not, a, not even a notebook. I couldn't even write down acute lymphoblastic leukemia. I didn't even know what it was that he had. So um, the next morning, a girlfriend of mine brought a bag that had everything we needed in it, uh, shampoo, a brush, toothbrushes, Everything, every personal need you could imagine, from socks to uh, coffee tea bags to make yourself a cup of coffee, Tylenol for my headache, Tums for my sick stomach. And um, it was a blessing because we were there for two more weeks. And then what I didn't know was that we would travel back and forth to the hospital hundreds of times because of fevers. You don't know that when you're newly diagnosed. And so we would just take that bag and go. And that's how they became... Go bags. Go bags. Right. So um, now, today, every mom and dad that comes in, the social worker sees them when they are diagnosed, and she gives them one of our supply bags, our go bags. So the families get those from us as well. And actually, we get more notes from moms about the go bags than we do about the gaming systems that they get. The notes say, you know, I was feeling so desperate, and I was so, so overwhelmed, I didn't know what to do. And I didn't have to think for myself at that moment, so thank you for that. Well, and that comes from your experience. It, it, from yes. Being there and not knowing what's going to happen next. Yes. It's a beautiful yeah. thing. So um, that's the second thing that we do. And then um, people have been so amazingly generous that we've been able to move into providing for the neediest families <clears throat> on the oncology floor. You don't think about the widowed moms, the single moms, um, dads who work construction, and they don't get paid if they're not on their job site. <clears throat> and some of these children are in the hospital a week to, our, one of our friends was there for almost a year trying to battle his cancer. So um, a lot of those parents don't get paid. They, they're on Family Medical Leave Act, and they're not getting a paycheck. So utilities are shut off. There's no money to travel back and forth. For, for visiting their child if they do have to go home for other kids. Um, we see families who just don't have tires on their car that can make it through the winter to bring their child to the hospital. We've had a mom who needed to take her 14-year-old son home on hospice care, but because she had been at the hospital for 70 days, her electric and her gas were shut off, and they wouldn't release him to go home until they were turned on. But she was two months behind on her bills, and we were able to help we were able to pay those for her. And there are a lot more expenses just being at the hospital and coming to the hospital than people realize. Yes, many more expenses. From parking at $7 a day to one meal a tray is $5 a meal for a parent to eat in the room. Uh, some of the kids, their insurance, it's $25 a copay every time they're treated. And you're looking at hundreds and hundreds of procedures. It could be 
It could be six months, it could be three years, depending on what the diagnosis is. So the travel expense back and forth, we have patients at the hospital that come anywhere from five minutes close by the hospital to three and a half hours from West Virginia. So um, they come from Erie all the way out to Altoona and, and they have a tremendous gas expense. So we do give the social workers um, a stack of um, gas cards in $50 increments and she gives them out to the patients as she sees a need arise for the, the families that come the most frequently or travel the furthest. Mm -hmm. so what I think people don't understand is that uh, when your child has a, a, a cancer, they need to come to Pittsburgh for treatment from Erie, Altoona, um, either Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. There is a facility in Ohio for them to be treated in, but there isn't one in West Virginia. So some of the patients travel three hours to get here from West Virginia. Um, many, we've met many families from Erie that are driving two hours, maybe four and five times a week. And if there isn't any room at the Ronald McDonald House, then they have to pay for a hotel to stay close by. But even the Ronald McDonald House has a nightly fee. It's not free. So we've, um, we've paid the, the weekly bill or the monthly bill for some of the families that haven't been able to afford that. And it, it makes a difference. So that every dollar that comes in goes to a family who's living through childhood cancer. At this time, we don't have any staff. We don't have any overhead. Everyone is a volunteer. So we can truly say that all of the money that people donate, it goes to the kids. And it will as long as, as we can do that. Because I just, I know what it's like to be that mom. And I know how desperate you are at that moment when you hear the word, your child has cancer. Your world spins out of control. You think you know, you think that your life is over, your child's life is hanging in this balance that now you have to hand your child over to a stranger. You don't get to make any more decisions about their health. And you're out of control. So to have, to know that someone is already thinking about you and already cares about you, when you get that supply bag and there's a note in there that says, we're thinking about you, we're praying for you, we know what you're going through, and Here's our, here's our email address, here's our phone number. If you want to talk, if you need somebody to, to, to talk to, you can call us. Um, it's important, it, it's just important to us. Right. And important to be there. Jenna, I'm like, I'll ask you, you know, how important was it to you to have somebody there with you um, during your treatments and during your stays, to have mom be able to be there? It was pretty important because she made me feel safe and <coughs> sorry. She made me feel safe and like on nights that I was scared, I wouldn't be scared because she was there. Parents have to be there with their kids. But some can't. Yeah. There are children there was a little girl in the room next to us, do you remember? Uh, all day long. She was by herself. Her mom and dad couldn't get there till six or seven o'clock at night. So she sat in her room alone, not because those parents are not good parents, but they couldn't leave their job and their other children. Mm -hmm. So they came there in the evening with her. But now a child like that would have a handheld gaming system to play. And what we didn't talk about was that um, it's not just video games. The older kids can pick from MP3 players. The little, the littler ones can have a um, leap pad. Mm -hmm. The babies, um, their kib, crib kick mats, sorry, crib kick mats and um, things to keep every age child distracted while they're going through their treatments. So, and then the two-year-olds, there are those, the drums that teach them their ABCs. So there's a closet full of electronics for the um, child life specialist to hand out. And how that works is when a child comes in, um, the social worker knows who's there and who's now newly diagnosed. So they get our bag from the social worker and then the child life specialist, they go and visit the newly diagnosed child, and that's when they give them one of our games. So it's not us giving the games. Sometimes we've, sometimes we've been able to, but not very often. We are funded by just individual people. Um, we have a race and a golf outing, and people donate and sponsor those events, and we've become part of the Pittsburgh Marathon, or an official charity for the marathon, and that's raised a lot of money for us. But mostly it's just people that 
hear what we do and they want to help. Girl Scout troops, Boy Scout troops, troops, youth groups, offices, anybody that could collect those items for us. There's a full list on our website of everything we put in the bags. We try to keep them all the same. And, um, and I'm happy to go meet someone and pick them up. And we have lots of volunteers that work in different areas, so they can always find a way to, to meet someone to, to get the supplies. So yes, absolutely, that's a gigantic help. You have a lot of volunteers. We do. We're just, we're, it's amazing, the circle of people that, um, some of them we didn't even know when Jenry got sick, and they just came to us and said, we want to be a part of this. We want to help sick kids. And then some are our family, and some are our closest friends. But um, our, our race and carnival that we put on in September, it takes about 120 volunteers, and uh, plus the local fire departments and the, the police and the ambulance. So it's even more than that. And everyone works together and gets it done. And it, that event pays for um, all of the video games for the year. So it raises enough money to do that. Right. And where do you have the carnival? In Irwin Park. This year it's on September 14th. It's called Genry's Run for Cancer Kids. And um, it's a 5K and a one-mile walk. And then afterwards we have live music and carnival type games a concession stand, of course, auction baskets and silent auctions, but a, a lot of fun. It's a lot bigger than you would think. You know, when people come, then they usually say, wow, I didn't know you had this much stuff, a dunk tank, and all kind of really fun things for the kids to do. Right. And yeah. are some of the, the people that come, are they families that you've met? Children with cancer? We do, and well, or? yes, but we do invite all the kids from the hospital. Last year we had, I don't remember if it was seven or nine, one year was seven and one year was nine families, and we have them come as our guests. So you can be a sponsor of the event and provide the money for the family to come participate in the walk if the child's able, and then they get shirts for the race, and they can play all the games and not be charged, and they can eat lunch with us, and the family gets to spend the day there. The first year we had um, 600 runners sign up. I know. I know. Some people told our race director that it would be so successful if we had 250. And then we were amazed when it was almost three times as much as that. So it's grown every year. And it's been just crazy to watch. Crazy good. You know, yes. just amazing. We don't feel like our impact is as big of a deal as everybody makes it. It's just what we do. It's what my kids do every day. It's become our life. You know, we, we don't, this isn't something... When people, when people say, oh, that's amazing what you do, your, your, fam your family's amazing, it doesn't sit right with me in my gut because we were so blessed through Jenry's cancer. We were surrounded by people who loved us. We were lifted up every single day and cared for. And for us not to give back and try to give that blessing back to other people, it would just be wrong for us. So... This is, this is just what we do. The only amazing thing about it is that my son is well and with us and we hug him and love him every day and we just want to make it a little bit easier for the families that are living through that still. And Jenry, you're still playing games. Yes. But healthy. Yes. Yes. And to school. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jenry's uh, treatment was three and a half years. It was, his last treatment was on September 20. 29th in 2012. So um, I'll he'll go every month for the next year and have his blood tested. And then they'll start to back it up to every three months, every six months. And then five years later, when he's 17, they'll say he's cancer free. Mm -hmm. So eight to 17. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a long journey, but it's been one that's been worth every second of it. Actually, our family's grown in amazing ways that, you know, we weren't, we're not the people that we were before. Our friends aren't the people they were before. This cancer has changed every, everyone for the good. You know, way, way more, way more good has come out of cancer than we ever imagined could. When you'll be? Okay, um, we have a golf outing in June on the 10th at Edgewood Country Club, and that information is on our website www.genraisekids.com and um, then we have our race in September on September 14th. 
people can get involved by helping us financially, sending a donation. Our, our address is P.O. Box 127, Irwin 15642, Irwin, PA. Um, online donations are available on our website, www.generyskids.com. The Go Bag Supplies are, are a big help. If you could collect those with your organization or your office, that's always a help because we give um, 10 to 15 of them a month. So that expense, it gets to be significant. And if you would like to help by being a volunteer, there's a tab on our website how you can get involved. And we always need volunteers for our events. We need golfers for our golf out and we need runners for our race. So all of that helps. You can come to an event and bid on an auction item or just come and enjoy the music and buy a hot dog and all of that money is used for the kids. Yeah, we we want our volunteers to um, have this touch their heart. To We want them to come and see and experience why we do this. We want them to come and understand and, and understand these children and their families and the needs that there are because most people don't understand what a cancer treatment is like for a family. Thankfully, I'm, I'm, I don't want people to understand it, but the burden is sometimes overwhelming. But, the thoughts, the thought process, the financial burden, the medical burden, the travel burden, it, it, it's overwhelming for our family. So we want volunteers to come and understand this because once you understand what those people are going through, it's easy to, it's easy to want to work hard for them. You can find out what we do at generalskids.com.